Lesson three, length. Length. In this chapter, we're going to learn how to measure certain objects or places. In olden days, length was measured with the help of some non-standard units like cubic, space hand span and foot span but now globally we follow standard units now we're going to learn to measure length with the help of standard units we measure the length of the objects to find out how long they are we can measure the length using non-standard units such as a hand span a cubit, a pace, or a foot span. Let us fill in the boxes. The class table is six cubit long. Length of your classroom is twenty pace long. The maths book is two hand span long. The classroom is 30 foot span long. Take a rope, measure it in hand span and fill the table given below. V Shruti measured the length of the rope as two hand spans. H. Rashita measured the length of the rope as one and three fourth hand span. Malarviri measured the length of the rope as two and one fourth hand span. And Jivita measured the length of the rope as two hand spans. Now look at these measurements. Are they the same? No, they are not the same. Why? Because each hand span of the student is different. So we need a standard unit to measure the length. We use a meter or centimeter scale. To measure length. Standard unit of length. Millimeter. Millimeter is the smallest unit of measuring length. It is used to measure smaller measurements. Look closely at your ruler. You will see very small lines between two numbers on the centimeter ruler as shown here. These are called millimeter. It is written as mm. Centimeter. Look at this picture. The thickness of the book is 10 mm. This is otherwise written as 1 centimeter. Centimeter is the next immediate higher unit of measuring length to that of millimeter. It is written as cm. Remember, 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter. meter. Look at this picture. The shopkeeper uses the meter scale to measure clothes which consists of 100 centimeters. Meter is the next applicable higher unit of measuring length to that of centimeters. It is written as m. 100 centimeter is equal 
to 1 meter. Kilometer Look at this picture. The bus covers distance in kilometers. One kilometer consists of 1000 meters. Kilometer is the bigger unit of length than meter. It is written as km. It is used to measure a longer distance. Remember, 1000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer. Complete the table by mentioning any two places in your locality and write their distance in meters or kilometers. Place 1 school, place 2 home. Distance between them 25 kilometers. Place 1 home, place 2 park. Distance between them 23 kilometers. Place 1 home, place 2 music school. Distance between them 13 kilometers. Place 1 home, place 2 hotel. Distance between them 30 kilometers. Measuring in centimeters. Place the zero mark on centimeter ruler against one end of the object. Read the number at the other end. This pencil is 14 centimeter long. This pen is 12 centimeter long. This eraser is 4 cm long. Estimate the length of these objects and verify it. Chalk piece estimated length is 10 cm but its actual length is 14 cm. Duster estimated length 10 cm. Actual length 12 centimeters. Pencil box. Estimated length 50 centimeters. Actual length 53 centimeters. Table. Estimated length 70 centimeters. Actual length 72 centimeters. Bench Estimated length 100 centimeters Actual length 140 centimeters Blackboard Estimated length 150 centimeters Actual length 140 centimeters